hello and welcome you all in this video i'll be teaching you the different techniques of doing calculations using scientific calculators what i observed many students are finding it difficult to use the calculators so today we'll discuss how to calculate roots of quadratic equation how to solve simultaneous equations how to perform rectangular to polar and polar to rectangular systems how to do the calculations using complex mode of calculator and how to perform integration on the calculator so first part we'll discuss how to calculate roots of quadratic equation as an example i will consider one quadratic equation let us say it is x square plus 3x plus 2 i need to calculate roots of this equation i'll be using two calculators one is fx 991 ms second calculator is fx 991 ex on the first calculator press mode go on pressing mode till you will get option of equation so when you will get option of equation press 1 now you can see on the display there is option of unknowns we don't want any unknowns because this is single one equation so press this key you are getting option of degree maximum degree is 2 so press 2 now you just have to enter the coefficients so the coefficients are for x square it is 1 for x it is 3 last coefficient is 2 so first coefficient is 1 that is coefficient of x square enter second coefficient that is 3 enter third coefficient that is 2 every time go on pressing equals to sign first answer is minus 1 so i'll write first answer that is first root is minus 1 to get second root simply press equals to sign second root is minus 2 now every time after completion of calculation you need to reset the calci how to reset it press shift and mode sign then different numbers are displayed press number 3 it will reset all the things on the second calculator press mode key the different options are displayed on the screen press number 5 so again different options are displayed you have the quadratic equation so press number 3 now you just have to enter the coefficients coefficients are 1 then 3 and next coefficient is 2 press equals to sign so you are getting first answer that is minus 1 again press equals to sign you will get second answer that is minus 2 after completion of this calculation you need to reset this calci how to do it press shift sign and then 9 number key then press 3 it will reset all the things second how to solve simultaneous equations as an example i will consider two equations one is 2x plus y is equals to 5 so equation number 1 second equation is minus x minus 2y equals to 3 i would solve these two equations simultaneously to get the values of two unknowns now on this calculator go on pressing mode option till you will get option of equations then press 1 now here i need to choose the unknown options because there are two equations that means two unknowns so i'll select number 2 simply enter the coefficients for equation 1 coefficients are 2 1 and 5 so go on entering it 2 equals to sign 1 equals to sign 5 again equals to sign for second equation coefficients are minus 1 minus 2 and 3 So I will enter minus one, then minus two, then three. Press equals to sign. You are getting first answer that is four point three three. Again, press equals to sign. You will get second answer that is minus three point six 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 six. These are the two values. I mean, we have calculated two unknowns. do remember important part is while solving such equations at the rhs the constants must be there you should not write it as 2x plus y minus 5 so after completion of this calculation i need to reset the calculator like this on the second calculator press mode option select number 5 now there are two equations and degree of each equation is 1 so i will select number 1 option simply enter the coefficients so for first equation coefficients are 2 1 and 5 so i will enter 2 then 1 then 5 then for second equation coefficients are minus 1 then 
minus 2 then 3 press equals to sign so first answer I got is 13.3 press H2D key you are getting the answer 4.33 again press equals to sign to get another value another unknown that is minus 11 by 3 press H2D knob you are getting minus 3.66 so this is the way how you can solve the simultaneous equations on the calculator again after completion of this calculations I am resetting the calculator third calculation how to perform rectangular to polar and polar to rectangular as an example consider the term 2 plus 3i the term 2 is called as real term and the coefficient with i is called as imaginary term this is called as a rectangular form i need to convert it into polar form how to do it on this calci you have rectangular form so press shift and plus sign on the display you can see pol and bracket term enter the values that is 2 then enter comma then enter next coefficient that is 3 you don't have to enter i simply close the bracket press equals to sign you are getting answer as 3.605 this is only magnitude to get the angle press rcl and tan key press rcl and tan key so angle it is written like this angle is 56.309 degrees this is called polar form now vice versa if you want to convert this polar form back into the rectangular form how to do it i have the equation which is in polar form i need rectangular form so press shift and minus sign on the display you can see rec and bracket so enter first term that is 3.605 then comma next value 56.309 close the bracket press equals to sign it is 1.9997 approximately 2 to get the imaginary part press rcl and tan key so you are getting 2.9995 that is approximately 3i now on the second calculator how to do it i have 2 plus 3i so shift and plus sign enter the values 2 comma how to enter comma in this calci press shift and closing bracket sign so comma is displayed then value 3 close the bracket equal to directly you are getting both the answers that is first r equals to means magnitude equals to 3.60555 next value that is theta theta is the angle 56.309 reverse way if you want to convert this polar into rectangular form press shift and minus sign enter the values 3.605 then enter comma next enter angle 56.309 close the bracket press equals to sign it is 1.999 that is approximately 2 go on pressing this key to get the value of imaginary part that is y equals to 2.99 that is approximately 3i so this is the way how to convert rectangular to polar next calculation how to use calculator in complex mode for example if you need to solve the equation 2 plus 3i multiplied with second term minus 3 plus 2i for such calculations you need to enter the calculator in complex mode how to do it press mode option so you are getting two options press number 2 so calci is now in complex mode use brackets enter first term that is 2 plus 3 how to enter i press eng knob i will be displayed close the bracket into second bracket same way minus 3 plus 2 to get i term again press eng knob close the bracket press equals to so answer is minus 12 but it is having imaginary part to get the imaginary part press shift and equals to sign so it is minus 5i that is answer is minus 12 minus 5i again reset the calculator using the same method on the second calculator press mode option then press number 2 so calci is in now complex mode 
enter the values in the bracket 2 plus 3 i same way i means press eng key close the bracket into second bracket minus 3 plus 2 i close the bracket equals to in this calcium you are directly getting the answers that is minus 12 minus 5 i this is the multiplication of complex terms if you want division just change this sign of multiplication into division again comp after completion of these calculations reset the calculator using the same method now last part is the calculation of integration see you don't have to mug up the equations to solve the integrations and all that provided that the limits of integration are not till infinity for example i will consider one integration say limits are 0 to 1 and x upon x square plus 2 dx this integration i need to solve on the calculator how to do it on this calc press integration sign do remember the bracket which is displayed after integration is for entire integration operation so i need to first enter x how do you enter x press alpha and closing bracket x will be displayed divided by you need to enter the bracket for second term enter the bracket x square so again alpha and closing bracket x is displayed then press x square so x square is displayed plus 2 close this bracket i have and i have closed the second bracket only i need to enter the limits so comma put a comma comma lower limit zero initially you need to enter lower limit then again comma enter upper limit and now after entering all the things close the bracket for integration if you won't close there will be an error press equals to sign so you will directly get answer of integration which is 0.20273 on the second calculator it is pretty simple press integration sign then same way first term is x to get x press alpha and closing bracket x is displayed divided by second term is x square plus 2 need to enter the bracket in the bracket first enter alpha and closing bracket x is displayed i need x square so press x square key plus 2 close this bracket here to enter the limits press this key lower limit is 0 enter it then upper limit is 1 enter it and press equals to sign so directly answer of integration is displayed that is 0 0.20273 dear students i have explained few important calculations which are very much required for solving the numericals if you have any further queries don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section and if you like this video please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you thank you all